prove that 3 into 5 power 2n plus 1 plus 2 power 3n plus 1 is divisible by 17. Let s of n be the given statement which is 3 into 5 power 2n plus 1 plus 2 power 3n plus 1 is divisible by 17. First we have to prove that s of n is true for n is equals to 1. So in place of n we have to substitute 1. So s of 1 is equals to 3 into 5 power 2 into 1 plus 1 plus 2 power 3 into 1 plus 1. So which can be written as 3 into 5 power 3 plus 2 power 4. 5 power 3 means 125 and 2 power 4 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is 4, 16. So 3 into 125 plus 16 is 375 plus 16 can be written as 391. This 321, 391 can be write, written as 17 into 23. So this 320, 91 is divisible by 17. Therefore, s of 1 is true. So now let us assume that s of n is true for n is equals to k. So s of n is 3 into 5 power 2n plus 1 plus 2 power 3n plus 1. So s of k will be 3 into 5 power 2k plus 1 plus 2 power 3k plus 1. It is divisible by 17. So we are assuming that this is divisible by 17. So this, this can be written as 64 times t. So where t is some integer. So transpose this 2 power 3k plus 1 on the right hand side. That will be 3 into 5 power 2k plus 1 is equals to 17t minus 2 into minus 2 power 3k plus 1. Consider this as equation 1. Now in the third step we have to prove that the statement is true for n is equals to k plus 1. So s of, one is, s of n is 3 into 5 power 2n plus 1 plus 2 power 3n plus 1. So s of k plus 1 will be 3 into 5 power 2 into in place of n we are substituting k plus 1. So 3 into 5 power 2k plus 2 into k plus 1 plus 1 plus 2, 2 power 3 into k plus 1 plus 1. So we have to prove that this statement is true for when this statement is divisible by 17. So this can be written as 3 into 5 power 2k plus 1 plus 2. So multiplying this 2 with k is 2k and 2 into 2 is 2 and this 1 is written here. Similarly, so multiplying here 3 into k is 3k plus 3 plus 1. Now splitting this term in, in the 5 terms, 5 powers, 5 power 2k plus 1 is written separately and 5 power 2 is written separately. So 5 power 2 we can take outside. So we can write it as 3 into 5 power 2k plus 1 plus 8 into 2 power 3k plus 1. So in place of 3 into 5 power 2k plus 1 from equation 1 we can substitute the value of 3 into 5 power 2k plus 1 as 17 times t minus 2 into 3k plus 1 plus 8 into 2 power 3 into 3 into k plus 1. So now multiplying here with 25, 25 times 17 t and 25 into 2 power 3 k plus 1 plus 8 into 2 power 3 k plus 1. Since these two terms are same with 2 into 3, 2 power 3 k plus 1 minus 25 plus 8 minus 25 into 2 power 3 k plus 1 plus 8 into 2 power 3 k plus 1 is equals to minus 17 of 2 power 3 k plus 1. So in these two terms we have 17 common. So we can write this as 17 times 25t minus 2 power 3k plus 1. So this is divisible by 17. So we can write this as 17 times of p. So this is exactly divisible by 17. Therefore s of n is true for n is equals to k plus 1. Therefore by the principle of mathematical induction the statement is true for all natural numbers.